Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? Today we're gonna to be talking about Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> So Wreck-It Ralph is rated PG, it's somewhere 48 minutes long, it came out in 2012, it is directed by Rich Moore, and it is voiced by John C. Riley, who plays Ralph, Sarah Silverman who voices Vanellope, uh, Jack McBrayer who is Fix-It Felix, and Jane Lynch who is the sergeant. Funny thing is that I have actually seen uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet don't even ask me how that happened even that i did see these movies out of order my recommendation to you if you haven't seen either one of them is definitely start with the first part and i know some of you are probably like no shit well not no shit because there's some sequels that you don't necessarily need to see the first part but this one there's quite a bit of things that do happen a lot of um relationships that build up and then we learn about certain glitches um in part one that you know obviously takes place in part two yeah a lot of things that happen in part part two makes a whole lot more sense now that I saw this part. We're not talking about Rick and Ralph breaks the internet or rough breaks the internet we're talking about Rick Ralph. I really dig that they went with like this old arcade games that come to life you know after the humans you know leave or the arcade closes which you know really sounds a lot like Toy Story. But the overall concept of this is that Ralph is the bad guy of this game called Fix It Felix. And well, he just no longer wants to be the bad guy. We're coming up on the, I think it was the 30th or 40th anniversary of the game of being this bad guy. And he just has had enough. And we're actually um, even seeing him tell this story and like build support group. And obviously, all these other villains have kind of come to terms where we're villains that's kind of like what's in our code what we know but Ralph is just like I'm I'm done with it I'm putting it kind of industry how the writers decided to not just make the villain in each individual game the villain in, in that game but also the villain you know once you know the arcade closes everybody's kind of like able to like social socialize within each other that they're still considered the villain I found that to be very interesting because you know obviously we could have done it where, you know, that's just their job, that's just what they're doing. But, you know, once they get into their society, then they're all like, well, like, oh, man, like, I'm sorry, you know, but you did a good job, you know, fixing this house and all this. And they're still, like, together. I mean, obviously, I know that wouldn't make, like, a good story, but I just found it kind of, like, interesting, you know. I mean, I guess technically in part two, we kind of get that because he's no longer really the bad guy. So, I guess scratch it. <laughs> Ross decides that he's going to get himself a little medal to prove to his game that he can be a good guy there's this new game called hero's duty and you gotta kill some like really nasty little bugs it's very intense kind of like call of duty i would assume obviously things don't really go as well later on we do get introduced to Penelope. she's like this cute little character and she's very feisty really gives me kind of like candyland vibes her kind of video game uh they do uh car racing she has this like glitch problem that really kind of ties down to the end of the movie on why the glitch is going and everything there's like a whole other bigger like deal that kind of goes along with her this is how we end up forming the relationship between lp and ralph i mean it's just such a great like kind of like outsiders coming together for friendship and i really totally dig the villain in this movie because again you really don't see it coming till there in the end and then like the whole you know reason why it happens and what that particular villain did to to get to where he wins but then we have that main villain but then we also have like a little kind of like side little mission which incorporates uh the sergeant and uh fix it felix kind of where we started like seeing the relationship form which i knew about from part two because i i saw them as a couple and like but now i got to see how they like got together and it was really cute honestly overall wreck and ralph was super cute i totally enjoyed myself if you haven't seen wreck and ralph i totally recommend for you to check it out it is currently on disney plus don't watch wreck and ralph or ralph breaks the internet if you've seen wreck and ralph what did you guys think about it did you like it did you, like it? Did you hate it was it just not for you if you've seen both parts which one did you like better part one or part two let me know down below now if you've seen the movie now the villain did you see that coming let, let me know down below like if you saw it coming put like a little car emoji in the comment section below if you if you saw it coming or like a crown and a car yes comment a crown and a car 
Either way it goes, that's all I have for you for today. Of course, before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Till next time, I'll see you guys at concession. Bye!